Alright, hello to you and welcome to this piano tutorial. My name is Josh. Thank you so much for checking in to this video today. Today we are going to learn the song Unbroken by Birdie. Stick around to see the full step-by-step -step tutorial of this song. I want to give a special shout out to my subscriber Love for Figure Skating for suggesting this song. I had never heard this song before, but I was so glad that you suggested it, so thank you for that. It's really a beautiful piano song, and I'm so glad that I had the chance to learn it, and now I get to share it with you all. It's like we're becoming a big piano family where we can all share music and help each other grow and all learn the piano even more. What more could you ask for? Thank you to all of my subscribers, though. You are truly like family to me. So yeah, thank you for that suggestion. If you have a song that you want to see me do a tutorial for, let me know down in the comments below. All right, let's learn Unbroken. So this song is kind of complicated, but there's lots of repeating patterns, so that's good. But we still won't be able to go through every single note, but I'm gonna go through each section and highlight some things that I think are important. So just to give you a heads up, while the right hand has lots of different patterns, the left hand actually has a very similar pattern for the entire song. It does change a bit, but for the most parts, you're just gonna be playing the root notes, the fifth, and then the octave, or the root note, one octave higher. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about what chords you're playing and that should make the left hand a lot easier. So let's get started with the intro. By the way, this song is in the key of G flat. So the intro starts with this pattern. You'll see the D flat, B flat, A flat, B flat pattern. And then what it's gonna do is we're gonna play each one four times and then we're gonna move this top note up E flat, then to the F, and then back to the D flat. After this, we're going to repeat that in the right hand, but we're going to add in the left hand. Now in the left hand, it's going to be a G flat down beneath, and then we're going to play this pattern up here between the D flat and the G flat. repeats for the second time. On the third time, when we play the F in the right hand, we're again going to start with the G flat in the left hand, but instead of playing this pattern, we're going to play the F and then the D flat. So make sure you're going in the right order. And then the fourth time goes back to exactly the way it was played at the start. Altogether, that intro sounds like this.
So now we're getting into the verse. The verse begins exactly the same way with our G flat chord or G flat nine, you could call it because it has this A flat. And we're gonna start off with the same pattern, but instead of playing this low G flat, we're gonna play it up here and it sounds like this. Then repeats. After this, then we're gonna go to a B chord, but with the added nine. And in the right hand, we're just gonna play D flat, B, G flat, and E flat, going from top to bottom. In the left hand, we're gonna repeat the same pattern of starting with the bass note and then going between the fifth and the octave. Together, it sounds like this. So that G flat and B section is really just the first part of the verse. In the second part of the verse, we're gonna move into this new section where, so the verse starts with this A flat minor chord. And the pattern we're gonna play is in the right hand, is just going from top to bottom. And in the left hand, it's gonna be slightly different than what we had before. Instead of doing an alternate between the index finger and the thumb, we're just gonna go up one, five, one then rest, and then play it again. So together, it sounds like this. After this, we go on to the D flat chord with the 11th added. Then to the G flat chord. And down finally to a B. We repeat. But here, we're gonna go to this E flat minor chord. And then end with the B. All right, now onto the chorus. So the chorus is a lot softer. It's focused more on just the voice. So the piano here is kind of in the background. So let me go through those chords real quickly. And then if you wanna play the pattern, just watch the preview at the start. So first we'll start with this G flat chord, then go to this B chord, walk down, back to the G flat chord, now to the E flat minor. Here's the seventh, play the D flat chord, now the A flat minor. Now here at the end of the chorus, we're gonna play this little thing. And if you can't reach this D flat with your thumb, just drop it. So that's kind of like a B flat minor chord to this B with the added ninth. Another way you can play this is just by playing octaves in the right hand and then the simple left hand. Last but not least, we have the bridge. So in the left hand of the bridge, we're just gonna use the same pattern that we used in the very start of the verse. And we're just gonna play that same pattern for all the chords. So the bridge is gonna start with the same pattern that we used in the intro. Like that, starting here with the G flat chord. Then it continues as we move down to this E flat minor chord. Then we get to this one, which is different because it has this F like we had before, but in the left hand we're playing a B so the F is like, here's our normal B chord, and now we have a flat fifth up here. Then after playing the F two times, we're gonna move it up to the G flat. And then similarly, we're gonna play the G flat now twice and then move down to the F.
Then on to this next section, we're gonna play a G flat, D flat, and B flat, and then back to a D flat in the right hand with an A flat minor chord in the left hand. After this, we'll move to a G flat over B chord in the left hand. So instead of having the five, because we're using a chord inversion, these are the three notes you'll play in the left hand. In the right hand, we're gonna alternate between this F and this A flat, keeping these two notes the same. Then move up to this B chord in the left hand, and then we'll move our pinky up to this B flat. And lastly, we're gonna play the G flat over D flat chord, keeping the right hand the same. And then finally, a D flat chord. And then we finally get to the end of the song, which ends on a G flat add nine chord, which is a beautiful ending to a beautiful song. All right, that wraps up this tutorial. I really appreciate any feedback that you have for me. So please let me know down in the comments if the pacing of this tutorial was too fast or too slow. If there's more you wanted to see, let me know down there. I'm always trying to make my tutorials as best as possible so that you can learn the song and be sure to check out some more of my piano tutorials. All right, it was great spending some time with you today. Have a beautiful rest of your day.